Poor Styles. Who? Hi everyone, I'm Sandrine, this is Merrick, and let's talk about Teen Wolf Season 6, Episode 1, Memory Lost. Woohoo! It's back! We're back! It is so back. We're back! <laughs> Final season! Final season. That episode. That episode was, was amazing. But before we get into it, let's start with some quick thoughts. So the opening credit changed, and not only that, but they added a few people. Like Sheriff, Melissa, and Argent. I don't but, think Argent was ever in the credit before. No, but you know who they didn't add? They did not add Hayden, nor did they add... Or Mason. Mason. Or Corey. Oh, uh, Corey, uh, not surprising. I'm just saying. But Mason? They were all in the... In, I, I was just saying. I'm just saying. Can a brother, it, can a brother get added? Can a brother get added? I'm just saying. The yearbook photo scene where Malia is trying her awkward smile. Oh, okay, God. Can, can, we're just going to reenact it really quickly. Hey, is it me? Are we on? And actually, that's a really good example of some of the humor that was throughout the episode that I kind of enjoyed. And this classic Teen Wolf, so that was a fun moment. Yes. And then, of course, we get one of the funnier scenes when Scott tells Styles one to split up. And, and then Styles is like, absolutely, absolutely not. Because <laughs> he's been watching oh, some thanks. horror films. But, and he's like, uh, no. But I you, feel like we should not but you split know the, up. You know the irony? They, they do did split, split up. up. <laughs> I know. Now moving on to the fact that this is a season of change as highlighted in this episode, especially because it's the end of, you know, the year and the yearbooks are happening and classes are finishing and people thinking about college. It's the end of high school life, guys. And, you know. And the end of Teen Wolf. And the end of Teen Two. Wolf. Oh, I, I hate it. I hate it. It's all ended. But it's also interesting is that as much as everybody feels like they're ready to move on, Styles is kind of the only one who's not ready to move on as he was basically jumping from one case to another, trying to find, you know, is this supernatural and bringing <laughs> Lydia, Lydia in every, <laughs> every time. Like, it's like, but hey. you know what? To his defense, I think it was supernatural. Yeah, well, yeah. Every time, wasn't it the Ghost Riders yeah. uh, the whole time? Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Styles had a point. He was Styles. like, no, really. Styles was onto something. Yeah. He was just onto something if way you, early. If we learn anything, <laughs> Thing in this episode is always listen to Styles. Always listen to Styles. What would Styles do? What would Styles do? But before we get to the Ghost Rider, let's first talk about the murder mm -hmm. that Liam, Hayden, and Mason came across. We know there will be two villains this season, and that's the Ghost Riders and the Nazi werewolf. So it would make sense if that murder was the Nazi werewolf. Mm -hmm. And I think the teacher that we met in this episode is actually the Nazi werewolf because it yeah. looks like him from the trailer. But we're not sure. Not sure. We're not sure. I, th I think it looks like him. So what do you guys think? Do you think the new teacher is the Nazi werewolf? Comment below, let us know. And now it's time to talk about the, the Ghost, Ghost Riders. Riders. And in this episode, we actually found out quite a few things about them. And it was, you know, progressive. It wasn't sudden. We were like, okay, they take people, step one. And then they seem to empty their house, step two. And then they seem to just make people forget about them. I don't know if it's in that order exactly all the time, but it is clearly a progressive thing. And it really starts happening the moment you see them, right? As Lydia highlighted in the quote she found, those who see the wild hunt, beware for you are already lost. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so brutal when Styles really started to experience basically people forgetting him. I think the worst was his dad yeah. when he's like, and then, and then right after that he calls Scott. And yeah. it's like, okay, it's over. Yeah. I think he was kind of happy that Lydia yeah. was actually like, oh my God, you remember me. Okay, there's still hope. And then of course the moment in the car, which we had seen in the trailer, but it was still really emotional. Remember that I love you. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> but it also highlights kind of who's going to bring it all together yeah. because we kind of get the sense that Lydia is going to be key here. I mean, Lydia was the last one to remember him. Like she really held on until the last second. Mm -hmm. And it seems like at least that's the way they're kind of setting it up. And at the end of the episode that 
she has the sense that there's something missing in her life. Where the other ones, it seems that they're kind of being like, hey, no, no, go to What her. up, Lydia? I mean, if, if she prompts them, it might then make them think. But she's thinking by herself, which I think is the hardest part to do, is not having anybody tell you, hey, there's something wrong, and then you think, and then you're like, oh yeah, there is something wrong. Yeah. She's noticing it by herself. And that's why I think she's gonna be key to remembering styles. And looking at next week's preview, we are noticing that uh, people seem to be remembering things, and actually the ghostwriters might be coming for someone else. Well, in the preview, it looks like Corey and Mason see them. Yeah. So if we go by what happened in this episode, that means that Either Corey or Mason or both of them yeah. will be chased. Will be taken. Or take and taken by oh, the ghost gosh. writers. But that's all we thought of this episode. What did you think of this episode? Comment below, let us know. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet so you don't miss our future Teen Wolf reviews. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Oh, I forgot Deaton. Yep. He's potentially someone that could answer be the questions. Yeah, answer the questions. For sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it looks like he's back next week, so... Deaton has all the answers. Still on the credits, though. Just saying. Six seasons. Six! But he's not, like, in every episode, though. Ah! Still! <laughs> still! Still. Just saying.